Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are staying good and healthy. This video was taken randomly like how I shoot most of the time. Filming a complete day can be a bit boring sometimes because there's nothing much that happens the whole day unless I'm out and about. Being at home and spending time with family is almost the same but what I like to shoot is the recipes that I prepare for my family, the time we spend together at our dining table and little joys of life here and there. So today I thought to share with you some easy recipes that I prepared to have along with our evening tea. Had few carrots lying in the fridge and nobody in the family like any lunch or dinner side dishes made with carrot. The best way I feel is either by making cake or muffins. I had caramelized half cup sugar with 2 or 3 tablespoons of water. Give a mix in between so that it doesn't burn or else there will be that bitter taste. Turn off the flame and be careful while pouring half cup water. Turn on the flame and melt the caramel crystals. And there you have it. Let this completely cool down. Now powder half to 3 fourth cup sugar and add to a bowl. Here I am using my stand mixer. You may use a hand blender or even a hand whisk. Add half cup oil and 3 eggs. After blending for a minute, add 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, half to 3 4 teaspoon cardamom powder, half to 1 teaspoon cinnamon powder and blend. Scrape the sides and add half cup of all-purpose flour. Now add the sugar caramel liquid, half cup. Now this will be a runny texture. So adding half cup more flour will give the perfect consistency. I grated two large carrots and add this to the batter. Forgot to add in the beginning, that's half teaspoon salt. Now prepare a baking tray lined with baking paper. Pour the batter and tap it few times to release any air bubbles. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or until the skewer comes out clean. Slice the cake after it has completely cooled down. Normally I make lunch and dinner together but on this day I had some leftovers from the previous day and it was just enough for lunch and preparing dinner becomes lazy on those days. So my go-to meal or the laziest dinner I make is hummus with pita bread. And it's the best because my family loves it. To 
will make the creamiest hummus. Add some ice cubes after blending chickpeas, olive oil, tahini, garlic, salt and vinegar. To take the hummus to the next level, add at some cooked minced mutton. Drizzle some olive oil and sprinkle with some cumin powder. Mornings are really busy, especially when kids have school. To be honest, the best time I love in a week are the weekend mornings, where I love to prepare some lavish breakfast that ends up being a brunch. And I've recently shared one video such a day. It's been a while I prepared neer dosas and the reason is that it takes so much time to prepare a batch. We love it with chutney, but to avoid the leakage in the tiffin, I prepared egg roast. I make the most simplest egg roast that my mom taught me, sorting onions with some spices. Another reason I hate to make neer dosas is this. It's sometimes hard on the pan. But the solution is to poke half an onion and spread oil with it. It becomes easier in one or two dosas. For me, this doesn't happen at all with any other dish, be it plain dosa or omelet. It happens only with neer dosa. And cooking in a non-stick pan is not worth the taste. To the sautéed onion, adding red chilli powder and turmeric powder. Sauté well. Slit one boiled egg and gently mix.
I have my workout and our after breakfast and later to have my mid morning fruit which is an apple today. Cinnamon rolls are my kids all time favorite snack. This time give a bit of change and made cinnamon buns. Using my stand mixer and into this goes half cup milk and half cup hot boiling water. This makes it lukewarm. Adding one tablespoon sugar and one and a half teaspoon instant yeast. Close for five minutes. Then add 1 cup all-purpose flour, 4 tablespoons sugar, 1 cup all-purpose cup of flour. Basically, you need all-purpose flour, 3 cups, but mine got over in the second cup. So the third time, I added whole wheat flour. Add 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil or melted butter and knead to a soft too. Now roll to a smooth dough. Spread some oil in a bowl and rub the oil all over the dough so that it doesn't dry out. Cover and let this double in size. Meanwhile, let me show you how to make the cinnamon butter mixture. In my previous video, I had made the cinnamon babka. You may check that out if you want. Add some soft butter in a bowl. Adding a little less than half cup sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon powder. You may add more sugar if you want for extra sweetness. Mix well. And this goes into the fridge until needed. After 2 hours, the dough has doubled in size. Punch to remove the air and knead for a minute again. Make equal size balls. The size depends on how you knead. I made it a medium size. You will need cheese which is optional. I have used spreadable cheese which comes in triangles. You can go for mozzarella or feta cheese as well. Gently press each ball. Fill around 1.5 teaspoon of the cinnamon butter and a small piece of the cheese or whichever you are using. Roll and place in a tray. Cover and let it sit for 5 minutes.
give an egg wash for the top to get that nice golden brown color steaming cakes or breads make it really soft and melts in your mouth i do this even for pita bread sometimes Some of you had asked me, what do I add in my tea instead of processed sugar? It's been quite some time. I add either jaggery or palm sugar, and I like the taste of tea when these are added. The bread needs to cool down a bit, but still warm for having it. But nobody at home had the patience, so had to take it out with a spoon because it was steaming hot. And that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and let me know your feedback on it. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.